I just want to thank you for everything you've done. This time's been a little crazy. Having you here is... It means a lot. You're a good boy, Lazarus. You always were. Now, I'll go say a prayer for your father. Get in the car. It's cold out here. No, give me this. Come on. brings you here. Hi, Lazarus. Luke? Hey! Where the hell have you been? Come here. Hey, come in, come in. Come on. Don't worry about it, David. I'm sure it was just an accident. Hey, I want, I want you to meet somebody. Honey? Honey, come in here for a second. This is Mary. Yeah, this is my brother Luke! Hi! How are you? Your <laughs> brothers have told me so much about you. Oh, and, and this is my little princess, Esther. A child. Oh, he speaks. <laughs> come with me, Luke. If you're anything like your brothers, you're probably starving. Here. Hey, 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 come on. You gotta go celebrate your brother's return. Huh? Seriously? You want us to celebrate him? He's the one that left us and left mom and dad. And while we stay here and take care of them, he's off. And you want us to celebrate look, him? Look, hey, hey, look. He's our brother. All right? This is what dad would have wanted. Just be nice, okay? Come on. Let's go. Hope you're all hungry. Oh, thank you, Mary. Ah! Oh, see that? Last second my horse loses. Hey, honey. 
Someone named Frank called earlier. He said it was super important to call him back, and he said he didn't want to have to call again. I, um, I don't know any Frank. Uh, so John, we need to talk about Luke, man. It makes no sense why he's here. I mean, he's got to be here for Dad's money, and, and honestly, how the hell did he find out about Dad to begin with? I mean, it makes no sense. Luke, hey! Come on, sit down. You guys didn't have to put up a banner, but that, thank you, that's really we didn't. nice. What's his problem? Well, Luke, not everyone's gonna be okay with you just returning like this. You're gonna give it, give us some time to get used to it, all right? You didn't have to say that. Luke, you can't leave. I'm not welcomed here. You have to understand what they're going through. Your father was sick for a long time. Your dad used to stare out the window for hours. He barely ate, barely slept. He started to get sick. It's amazing that my family only cares about me when I'm gone. Now excuse me, I have a bus to catch. Lucas Jones, if you leave this house, you're making a mistake. Your brothers care about you. I know they don't really show it, but they do. I wrote you that letter telling you to come back. I did it because I know how much your family needs you right now. You shouldn't have. Yes. 16.4. Yes, a million. No, it's not going to be a problem at all. No, John's completely on board. Yeah, we can sell you the company. It's just going to take a little time. Okay. Don't worry, it'll happen. You know what? Let me call you back. I'm glad you decided to stay. Really didn't have a choice. Your mother. She was so beautiful. I wish I could have met her. Lazarus, he's... He's trying to... I know. You know? I told you a lot was going on. Do you think that John's in on this too? At first, I didn't think so, but I don't really know anymore. The business was everything to my father. Sometimes even more than us. Luke, he was just like your brothers. Trust me, you were all he could talk about. He loved you very much. Well, he wasn't very good at showing it. But even then, this is not the way he wanted it. She would have loved you. My mother. She would have loved you. Can I help you? John here? No. Everyone stepped out. Tell your buddy John that Frank came by. Call me as soon as possible. My next visit's not gonna be as nice. Hey, Dad. 
that hard. Let's be a loop. But I guess you already know that. I'm so sorry. I don't want to go. But I have no choice. I don't know what to do. I'll make you proud. Gerard steps up. John, a Frank stopped by for you. I don't know any Frank. You sure as hell knew you? You have a gambling problem, John? I don't know what you're talking about. Because if you did, you know you can talk to me. John, I'm making some business calls. I got some really good ideas and stuff we can do with <clears throat> You're still here? Yes. Tell us about your business calls. No, nothing. Nothing that concerns you. It has everything to do with me. Oh, really? Why? Because all of a sudden you're part of this family? Listen, you've been gone for eight years, okay? And there's some decisions that need to be made here. We're probably going to get the company in the will reading. And some things might happen that you're not okay with. Dad would not have wanted this, especially the day after he dies. What do you know what Dad wants? You're the one that's been gone for eight years. But Dad built this business up from nothing. You can't just sell it. These are practical considerations we have to make here. Practical considerations? You know, I thought you were the one with a little brains, some intelligence, and not just follow him with, with greed and money. If anybody's here for money and greed, it's you. As far as we're concerned, you're not even part of this family. How many times after eight years have I called and asked Dad for one single dollar? Exactly. You've never even called Dad. Never told him where you were. Listen. This is gonna happen, okay? With or without you. So deal with it. Can't take you guys. Oh, yeah, run away from your problems like you always do. You never love dad, you hey, 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 guys, stop it! Stop it! I need this! I need this to happen! Yes, I have a problem. Yes, that's my problem! I owe over $800,000! I could lose my house! I wish to thank all present for fulfilling my life, giving a man what is most important, family and friends. I know I haven't always been around, especially for my sons, but I want you guys to know I love you very much, each and every one of you. To my boyhood buddy and longtime friend, James Milano. Jimmy, you are my brother. And for that, I leave the 64-427 White Dream Machine. Believe me, I tried taking it with me, but it wouldn't fit in the casket. To the star that shines so bright in Grandpa's eyes, my granddaughter Esther, I leave all my love and a trust fund in the amount of $1 million for your future. As you already know, I take my company and the well-being of it very seriously. Given the scope, complexity, and responsibility of it, I wouldn't want it to go into the wrong hands. I need a strong, smart, and dedicated man to carry on, someone I can trust in running the company as well as being an asset to it. With that said, I leave my entire estate the corporation, the money, and my home in the trusting hands of my longtime driver and confidant, David McTeague.